In today's session, we'll be taking a look at how to perform a social engineering attack using the social engineering toolkit in Kali Linux. Before even going into that demo, this is the disclaimer. The video is strictly for educational purposes only and the social engineering attack was performed in a controlled virtual lab environment. The presenter is not responsible for any misuse of the information presented in this video and the presenter does not support any malicious hacking activities. Phishing is illegal and is punishable according to the cyber laws. Do not try this on others. Never attempt sending fake emails or messages to others. So in the last class, we were looking at social engineering. We looked at the definition of social engineering. We understood the various different types of social engineering attacks. If you are not clear with social engineering attacks, please visit my lecture on social engineering so that you can understand the demo that I'm going to show you now. So we looked at so many different types, right? Biting, scareware, pretexting, phishing, spear phishing, email hacking, contact spamming, tailgating, and so on. So I was talking to you about phishing. What is uh, phishing? Phishing comes under this category, sending an email or a text message with a malicious link to the user. And then when the user clicks on the link, he'll be taken to a fake website wherein he'll be asked to enter his credentials. And when he enters his credentials, the hacker will get hold of the information provided by the victim. So that is phishing. I have given you a very good example for spear phishing here. So in this mail, say this mail has been sent by the hacker with a link and uh, the user will somehow be made to trust this email. And uh, when the user clicks this link, he will be taken to a website or, uh, or an application that is fake. And when he enters the credentials and the data, the hacker will get hold of the data. So we are going to see how such an attack can be staged using Kali Linux and the social engineering toolkit in Kali Linux. So for this, uh, let me straight away go to this demo. I'll be using two machines here for this demo. So you can see I have two virtual machines running on my Oracle virtual box. This is my Ubuntu, which will be used by the victim. And uh, I have the Kali Linux here, which will be used by our hacker for performing this attack. Let's uh, straight away go to this demo. Let's see how this one works. Let's say that um, the victim has somehow received this link from the hacker through a mail or uh, he gets this link through a message. Let's assume that and uh, it says log in to google here and you trust this link and he clicks on this so now you'll be diverted to a page wherein you'll be asked to sign into google now the victim is going to enter his email and uh, password let's assume the email id is satish at gmail.com and the password is oh my god so this victim then clicks on sign in and even when he clicks on sign in there is uh, something that's going on here see he's not really getting signed in is getting diverted to the Google uh, home page and he doesn't know what's happening maybe he searches for something else and uh, he is uh, getting diverted so it's it's working normally maybe he thinks there was some internet issue and uh, his sign in didn't work but behind these scenes, you can see the hacker was listening to him. And uh, when you go and take a look at this, you'll be really surprised. Satish at gmail.com, the email ID and password is, oh my God, the hacker has somehow caught the credentials of this user. So this is a phishing attack. And uh, you see how easily this hacker was able to get the data from his victim. So let's go and try that again. Say if the victim enters, say there is some other victim now and he is going to enter some uh, password and things like that. So the hacker again sends this link to some other person out there. So we have another victim here and uh, this is the hacker listening to this uh, victim. Say when this victim gets this, he will log into Google. He clicks on the link, say he trusts the link and then he gets the page for Google and he signs and says, let's say now Ramesh is signing in, another victim, Ramesh at gmail.com and the password is I am so dumb and he clicks on sign in, bam, that's it, it's done. 
you see here the email id of the user is ramesh at gmail and the password he has entered is i am so dumb so the hacker got hold of it he can log in and perform whatever he wants so that's why it's very dangerous to click on links you see how easily a hacker can get hold of your credentials so this is what is a social engineering attack and uh, we have a social engineering toolkit inside kali linux that will help us perform this i'm going to show you a demo on how to perform this this is for educational purposes and we are not going to attempt this or perform this on anyone else even let it be our own friends we should not try this so let me tell you how to perform this so i'm going to demonstrate how this hacker was able to stage this attack using the social engineering toolkit in kali linux for that we need to go to terminal and search for social engineering sc toolkit search for this sc toolkit and this toolkit helps us to perform a various kinds of attacks we will select one social engineering attacks that is our objective and again inside social engineering attacks lot of options are there we will select website attack vectors and inside website attack vectors again we have several options in this we'll select credential harvester attack method so the name itself suggests what is credential username and password it's an credential harvester attack method sounds so funny so now let's select three we'll we'll select credential harvester attack method and then press enter we have many options here we'll use web templates for our attack let's select one and now it asks us for the ip address say we have to provide the ip address of our kali linux so we are listening using kali linux right so this is the ip address of kali linux you can uh, say let me tell you ip address of my kali linux machine is 10.0.2.15 so that's what i'm going to enter here 10.0.2.15 this is your listener that machine that is going to listen for all the data that the user enters and now we have to select which website template we want it we'll we'll uh, use google now that's what we are asking the user to sign in right so this website will be cloned so cloning of website has uh, taken place http www.google.com now kali linux is actually waiting so it's in the listening mode let's see what happens how this victim you know enters this information and how it uh, gets transmitted to kali linux now uh, when you talk about uh, this uh, a link that is uh, test.html file which the victim was using uh, let me open that and uh, test.html so this is the html file say our hacker somehow sent this uh, link like this so inside the link he has uh, given the ip of the listener so this is the ip of my kali linux machine http and then the listener log into google here so he is just hiding this by a message on the hyperlink so that is test.html so when this user uh, uses test.html let's go to test.html here yeah so when the user just opens test.html or when he gets the link this is how it is and when he clicks on this link it is actually getting diverted to 10.0.2.15 that is nothing but the listener and this site whatever page you are seeing here has been cloned from the actual google website so www.google.com has been cloned so this is where the user loses you know that is the victim believes that it is from google because it's exactly the same and uh, the hacker was able to clone it in just a second and send it to our victim now when the victim enters the password say chris is the username chris at gmail.com and then he enters some i am so foolish that is the password 
and when he clicks on sign in that's it it's done the hacker you see immediately this if the information is getting transmitted to her hacker chris at gmail.com and password is i am so foolish so this kind of an attempt can happen any number of times and for any number of users you can send this link and whenever people start using this link and then they when when they even click on that you see is getting an alert and say satish again at gmail let me enter my name satish again at gmail.com i will not trust this something that something like that is the password and uh, when the user click sign in that's it satish again at gmail.com i will not trust this so this kind of an attack is called credential harvester see we are harvesting all the credentials of the victim I'm not sure why we even have this social engineering toolkit in Kali Linux. It's so deadly. Within seconds, we can clone any website, send that website through a link to a user, maybe through email or messages. And if the user trusts our website, he is done. So that's why uh, I told you, you know, when we were talking about social engineering attacks, the very important thing is you should never trust any such links and you should never click on the link what is the best option here even if this victim gets uh, a google link here you should not click this what you should perform is you should go to google.com and then you should sign in maybe it takes uh, two or three minutes but that is the best option we have so in this case we can avoid phishing attacks okay so that's a small demo on social engineering attack and how to carry it out using a social engineering toolkit in Kali Linux. You see there are a lot of other kinds of attacks that can be staged by the hacker using this uh, social engineering toolkit. As and when uh, we have time, we'll explore the remaining attacks. I hope you all have understood this, but since you understood, do not try this on people or, on, uh, or even on your friends. As you know, phishing is illegal and is punishable according to the cyber laws in India. Thank you.